What's up guys and welcome to my new series here called Starter. I, I've changed the name a couple times and the last time we tried to do it, it was more of like a let's play that was meant to be a new player guide. So it was um, a lot less edited than I plan on doing this. And this video will be a little bit more edited or this series will be a little bit more edited where we do some cuts, more like your traditional let's play series on YouTube, okay? Um, will it be a good new player guide? Probably, but will it show every aspect of the, um, the experience of Star Citizen? No, uh, I will probably kind of speed up some quantum travel times and, uh, cut occasionally when, when bugs and things like that we run into and we're trying to find workarounds, things like that. Uh, Star Citizen is still very much an alpha experience and we do run into some issues. Now we're also gonna be lightly role-playing. So there's gonna be um, a little storyline behind me. And basically I'm a, a younger lad who grew up on Levski. His father was a miner here. And I'm kind of leaving the nest and trying to create a career for myself. Now there's not too many opportunities here on Levski. Uh, if we go ahead and, and look at the job board, it's kind of uh, scarce, right? There's some mercenary stuff. There's some delivery missions, but they're kind of quite long distance and some investigation stuff that's a little bit further away. So I'm going to head out and head to uh, Crusader, where there's a lot more opportunity for somebody like me. Now, part of the other role play aspects are we might kind of, you know, we do still live here, so we might come back to Levski as our ending point. Most likely not for each episode, but... Um, Occasionally, when we're when we're done being out in the uh, verse and doing work, we mo most likely will head back to Levski for uh, to kind of turn in for the night or whatever. Uh, the plan is for the series is to do um, two, maybe three videos a week, uh, and it's to kind of break down a couple hours of gameplay into about a twenty to thirty minute episode. That's that's the plan here. Uh, so looking forward to it, and as you can see. Um, I'm using a little bit of a different ship than maybe you would have expected with a starter series. Uh, I'm using the C8X Pisces. So my dad had a uh, Carrick and he decided to give me the snub ship that came with it to kind of start my career with. So that's a little roleplay elements, but I think it would be really fun to uh, to play with this ship in particular since it's, um, it is a starter ship, but it's not everybody's go-to, right? Most people say use the Aurora, use the Mustang, um, but the Pisces is pretty new, pretty cool, uh, and has a lot, a pretty neat upgrade path, I think, so we're gonna use that to start. But obviously the goal is to, um, buy ships in-game, experience new things like mining and cargo hauling, stuff like that. So... Um, the idea is to, every time there's a major patch, is to kind of switch the starter ship that we're using. So for this patch, I decided to use the Titan since it's kind of the new kit on the block and would be a lot more, um, maybe interesting. So here we are, leaving the nest for the first time. Technically, I, I've recorded this a couple times, actually. We've run into some issues, uh, whether it be, um, people PvPing and killing me with some pretty strong builds, or uh, just some general forgetting to hit record, uh, which I've done a couple times. So let's go ahead and plot our course to Crusader, where we'll touch down in Port Olisar. So at least we have a, a decent starting point here. So we're touched down here, uh, and while we're safely on the pad, we're going to take a look at kind of what opportunities are available to us. Again, as you can see, uh, I started the game out with 10,000 um, credits even. We did a few missions earlier when I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, so we also ran into some issues where I had to claim my ship. So I claimed my ship basically until we got close to 10,000 credits and started over. Now, 
the missions that I'm going to do and a little bit more into this role play stuff. Obviously, you could see there's so many more opportunities here for us than before. Um, I'm going to start out as essentially a delivery boy, right? Um, where down here for these Kovalik missions, you're more of like a delivery man, right? And there's some some uh, bigger ones. But I think it's really good to start out in an individual system. And I think one day, and uh, actually earlier when we, I thought I was recording and we weren't, um, Luke Presley said this is kind of the idea is to have, you know, when you first start out, that you're really only offered these really early entry-level missions, and as you build reputation, you get into the uh, more difficult ones. So, we're going to take a look at what's available. Um, these are in-system, they tend to be, but unfortunately, the, the Crusader Lagrange points are also part of these, so I'm going to avoid the ones that have that, because they're too pretty long quantum drives and I don't really want to do that right off the bat. Uh, so the Crusader L5 one, we won't be taking, but this one, which is uh, Yella to Daymar, we will. And again, not huge payouts on these. This was Daymar to Yella. Um, and then General Daymar to Yella. Okay, so there's two Daymar to Yellas and one yellow to Damar for now. So we're gonna only have three on our list, but what's cool about the link shipments is as soon as you finish one, another one pops up. So you'll be able to continue to uh, have, always basically have four, three or four of these missions up on your list at any given time. So let's quickly take a look at what we accepted and where we're gonna go first. So most of the pickups are on Damar. So we'll start on Damar then. So we'll track this top one here. And again, uh, always always quantum travel from inside the Armistice Zone around Port Olisar. Just because there's a lot of uh, people looking for PvP here. And when you're a new, sh new guy starting out, you don't have great shields. And uh, you don't have definitely any weapons that can compete with the type of builds that people have right now. And one of the reasons why I like doing deliveries first, uh, I said this previously in previous recording too, so the guys watching on Twitch will hear this again, but the uh, I think deliveries are great for a new player because you kind of get used to flying your ship. Uh, for me, I've never really flown the C8X very much, and it's much more agile than the Aurora or the... Um, I never really flew the Mustang that much either. So getting used to flying it, landing it, are all very, very important things. But also, more importantly, you get to see all these different places around Star Citizen, which are obviously quite beautiful. I mean, I think that's what the the big thing about Star Citizen is right now, is it's just sheer beauty rather than the exhilarating gameplay that you get, right? There isn't a ton of that just yet, but it's certainly a beautiful game. And I probably won't speed up this first approach to just kind of give you um, an understanding of why in future um, runs and future episodes that we will speed up and and kind of uh, speed through a lot of things because it's it, it is quite a long process. Looks like there's another Pisces here doing something similar to me. I'm always concerned when seeing other players in the game. The one thing about being around Crusader is it is definitely a more populated area in terms of uh, players, since there is more um, opportunity here. So you might come across players more often. This is an armistice zone, so we don't have to worry too much about... Um, Danger or anything. Landing complete. Yeah, also, Crusader has like the most security weaknesses where uh, lots of landing pads, not a lot of hangars, um, lots of places that have no armistice zones, right? So. 
I, I saw my first dust storm in the earlier recording, or lack of recording, but Baymar's pretty sick. I actually could I actually crash my ship into the ground on my first mission because of a of a dust storm. I couldn't see it. It was pretty cool. Alright, so pick up the box. Um, some players are complaining that they're, they have issues with delivery missions. I had one earlier, um, but overall, they're pretty reliable. So as far as missions go, these are some of the more reliable ones to do, which is another reason to kind of start your experience with some deliveries. So I think my goal here is to do about 9 or 10 of these and get to about 20,000 credits and then do some see what upgrades we can do to our ship and see what we can get away with that and then move into some of the higher paying missions like uh the Kovalex and and the like all right so you are going to yell us so you're coming over here So let's quickly grab our next one. Oh, they're both here. Okay, perfect. Nice. So let's go pick up the other one. That's one thing to always look at, too, is um, trying to get both of your... As many missions as you can coming and going to to and from the same locations just speeds up the process obviously um with the link shipment you, you only ever have four available to you at any time so i just basically got lucky here and uh had two missions in one spot you can actually hear the dust storm this is pretty cool All right, so then we're going to head over to Yella and do the drop-offs and then the pickup uh, for Daymar. I'm not sure where the drop-offs are. I can't remember uh, and where the pickups are, but maybe we have a drop-off and pickup at the same location. So that'll be the next thing we check as soon as we get back into our ship here. But hopefully it's the same. I have a little OCD when it comes to these boxes. Normally, I think a lot of people would just kind of leave them wherever, especially since you have so much space here. But if it's not fitting <laughs> nicely... I'm going to make it fit nicely. Okay. Or I might give up very, very soon. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to give it one more try here. To play nice. There we go. Sideways, but good enough. So let's see where we're going here. Uh, this is going to Coso Basin, and that's going to Astro Ridge, and this is picking up at Benson Mining. So it doesn't really matter where we go. So we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just go to the whatever we have selected right now, just for easiness' sake. Off to Coso we go. All right, safely on the ground, with no HUD. It's kind of scary. So we're gonna go ahead and power down the ship. Weapons off. And hope that that fixes the issue, leaving it, coming back, all that. Let's take our first shipment. Always close the door behind you. Never know who's around. Especially in places like this, this is not an armistice zone. So, uh, if there's anybody around, they can freely attack you.
Okay, so this is one of the missions that we had issues with before. Uh, this will be a really good confirmation if these uh, work or don't. Okay, interesting. So we did one of these earlier when I wasn't recording and it didn't work. So I thought maybe that the shelf drop off spots might have been bugged, but I guess not. Just that particular one. Just didn't work at that time, I guess. One of those things. One of those star citizen things. Next drop. Here we go. Ah, uh, is this the delivery box that we put here before that wasn't working? It might, it might be. Yeah, so I don't know, man. Here's a power cell. I don't know what these are going to be used for, but there's first aid kits and AEDs and things like that. I, I feel like this place will have some use at some point, but other than a drop-off point right now, um, no major use here. But I really do think that for people that don't have medical ships, these kind of places are, are where you go for um, treating some higher level inju uh, injuries. I think it'll be pretty cool. approach to our final mission here. I think we made just under 10k. All Ling shipment delivery missions. So I think we've earned enough rep at this point to start getting missions from other companies that are a little bit more difficult and a little bit better paying. So that's the idea behind doing these. Let's add a little roleplay element to the series where we got to build up some rep. Uh, if we ever end up doing bounties, you know, we'll only do level ones for a little while and then move on to level two and level three and then players. And to keep things fresh, maybe. Take our time. Enjoy it. And so far, I mean, this, while we ran into a lot of issues today, 
Um, more than I expected. I, I basically did a little test to decide if I was going to do this series and ran into little to no issues. So my expectations today were to run into little to no issues, but uh, we ran into a few more than I expected, but it, it overall wasn't horrible. Um, it was it was workable. Um, most of the issues actually weren't necessarily game-breaking bugs. It was more just players using uh, meta builds, killing me in two shots as I was getting to certain landing zones or, or outposts. So, um, just the net, the general game and the risk versus reward factors of the game kind of uh, came into play. You guys won't see him, unfortunately, on the YouTube video because I had some recording issues. Uh, those recording issues being forgetting to hit the record button. Um, so, uh, we did run into a few, like, PvP situations. I'm sure we'll run into a few more in the future, but my general thoughts on PvP in Star Citizen and using builds that are overpowered or whatever, it's it's the game. It's what's in the game right now. It's why I'm making the series today when the game isn't necessarily in the greatest state ever. Right, so it it is what it is kind of thing, and we just kind of got to deal with it is how I look at it. So just moved to another server, swapped around, and eventually uh, got the missions done that I was hoping to get done for the day. It's kind of the, the name of the game right now, things you got to deal with. So that is that, guys. We are ending this episode today with 20,949 credits. Uh, I will spend a little bit of time take a look at uh, this little website called aircool.games. I will leave that in the link in the description uh, where we kind of figure out what upgrades we might want to do in the near future, whether they be quantum drives, weapons, so on. I think we'll probably go with quantum drives first, but yeah, that'll be that. So we're going to head our, our tired, tired selves home to Delamar, which is not working out well because it wants me to go uh, okay 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 I think we'll probably just call it here since it doesn't really want to play nice sending us back home so guys thank you so much for watching I do hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it today. Let me know what you think about this general format because uh, it will be pretty highly edited and um, I will be cutting out a lot of the time that it takes to do things. Now, not necessarily the perfect Star Citizen experience of what it's exactly like, but I think it's a nice little story to follow along throughout each patch cycle. So these are some videos that I do want to bring to the YouTube channel and to my Twitch channel. So again, uh, hit that follow button on Twitch, hit the like button on YouTube, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you guys next time. So thanks for watching.